You are now entering the Divine Headquarters. What is up, fam? It's your big bro, Joey. I don't know if y'all heard. I just, I just had a pause for a second because I heard sirens outside. So this is that. That's that. We we started off the reading with a confirmation. There's something that we need to discuss in this in this reading that's very very important for somebody to know right now. But uh, welcome to the channel, everybody. What's up, everybody? It's your big bro, Joey. Thank you for being here. I want to welcome back my OGs. Thank y'all for y'all continued love and support. And I want to welcome to the channel any new viewers. We're just going to jump on into it. If you're vibing with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, like the video. All that good stuff. Let's go ahead and clean the energy out. Yeah. We got to get this over with. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. I wanted to give you guys an angel number. Let's get y'all an angel number. You know what? Let me see what time. Okay. One zero zero one. Okay, cause it's it's ten oh one right now where I am. So we're gonna go with one zero zero one. Okay, let me check and see what that angel number means. One zero zero one. So let's see what we got. Okay, it says um your guardian angels are letting you know that personal growth. Positive energies and movement are going to be important themes at this point in your life. Again, personal growth, positive energies. OK, um, I, I'm getting an emphasis on positive energies and movement forward are going to be important themes right now. Your angels are letting you know. That how people treat you mirrors the energy you radiate into the universe. This also represents new beginnings and opportunities. And it's a reminder to stay positive and focus. Stay positive and focus on your goals. And be open to the priorities in your life. Uh, no. no mm -mm. I'm just here to stay focused on your priorities and be open to the possibilities. Possibilities in your life. Mm. I'm here and pay attention. Focus on the negative. Ooh, why, why am I jumbling all these words up to keep? <laughs> I mean, don't focus on a negative like that. Focus on a positive. You see, what I'm talking about. I'm getting that there's a lot of distractions, and and um, this is the first card that I pulled out. Okay, I'm getting that there's a lot of distractions that are going on. There's a lot of outside external influences that are going on right now that are trying to shake you, that are trying to rock you. But I'm getting that you are stronger than ever, that you solid as a rock. And I'm and the message that I'm getting here is don't believe the hype. OK, uh, do not believe the hype. Don't believe that. Don't believe the illusions that people are trying to push on you. Yeah. There may be some outside interferences, right? There may be somebody trying to um try to affect your mood. OK, because I'm seeing pessimism. They're trying to affect your mood and they want you trapped into this restrictive energy. But at the same time, what spirit wants you to know is right now is that you are shielded. You're being shielded. You are being protected while you embark upon this new opportunity and this new journey for yourself. I'm getting 11 vibration here. And wow, look at that. One zero zero one is 11 there as well. And that is illumination. That is clarity being shown on your situation. So you being able to see things for what it clearly is instead of buying into the illusions that people are trying to i got her i just heard people places and things um entities forces are trying to to place onto you so that you think the reality is something different than what it is and i'm getting that the narrative that's being that's, that's trying to be pushed or the energy that is being directed towards you as a collective is that you are in a state of lack that uh you're not worthy enough you're not good um, that you're trapped, you're stuck. And th those are lies. Okay. Because you are being shielded and a trigger statement here is I am under attack. But the true statement here is that I am strong. So it does not matter if I'm under attack or not because they can't touch me. This is repellent. That means that 
anything that is being sent to you, as long as you keep your vibrations high and you focus on the positive and you're not, I, mean, I just heard dumbing yourself down. You're not lowering yourself down to these low standards. Okay. And tapping into this negative energy. You're okay. Everything is being repelled from you. It's like, they don't want you to know that they want you to think that, Hey, well, my power, my magic is so strong that, uh, it, it could pierce through, you know, the love and light that's around you. But that is a bold face lie. This card says you will clearly see what you are taking on from outside influences and release your energetic boundaries are fortified. So what this is saying is that if anybody, anything that is around you is causing you any kind of negative reactions, if anybody's trying to suppress you, if anybody's trying to block you, if anything or anyone is attacking you, you will see it. So there's nothing that anybody could do that you're not going to be able to see. And like I say all the time, it's like when the light is shed on the situation, like let's say if somebody was doing something behind your back, but when the light is shed on the situation, that that instantly once once that situation is illuminated, okay? Once the spiritual CCTV is picking up that event, what's going on with the CCTV never turns off. So once it picks it up, once you're made aware of it, it's already dissipating. It's losing its power. It has no power over you. I want y'all to tell yourself, look yourself in the mirror every day, multiple times throughout the day and tell yourself that you are strong. Don't let the statement that I am under attack trigger you into fear, trigger you into, I'm getting for some people, low self-esteem, triggering you into uh, uh, losing your courage or losing confidence and, and uh, doubting yourself. Because that is what these people, places and things, these entities and energy is there to do. It's These is what I call seed planter energy. It's like seed planters. They already got a bunch of seeds in their pockets. They're walking around looking for people like you. And what they will do is they will take those seeds out. And <laughs> I just heard throw those seeds at you. They're trying to plant those seeds of doubt, those seeds of chaos, those seeds of confusion. Uh, and that's confirmation right there on your subconscious, in your mind, in your spirit, in your soul. So that that's confirmation. Yeah, I just heard that so that it could take root. And that it once it takes root, it is able to grow and intensify. And now you're stuck and you're having this deep seed. You're like, oh, my God, why? Why am I blocked? Why do I feel this way? Why do I? Because because of the seeds that were planted. But you are in this energy based off of the work that you've been doing. Based off of the ascension. That you are on right now. You are elevated. You're rising above the chaos, rising above the confusion. You are jumping timelines is what I just heard. You already have jumped a timeline. You're gone. But it's like these people are grasping, grasping, trying to get your attention, trying to trying to hold on to you. There was a message that I put in this phone. Let me see what it what it is. Hold on one second. Hmm. <sighs> Yes, yes. You have shifted timelines while past people are fighting to stay relevant in your life. And that is the energy that you're picking up. A lot of you guys can sense the daggers that are being thrown at you. You can sense it. I feel like your spiritual gifts and abilities are increasing. Okay. And you can pick up on these vibrations. You pick up on vibrations that are not... Um, gelling or cohesive with yours 
it's easy for you to pick up, pick them up, especially when you get around certain people or when you even when you go around certain places. Keep in mind, if you go to a certain place, a certain building, a certain park, it's the energy. I'm getting Aries, Aries here too as well, right? The sign of Aries. So I don't know if you have Aries or somebody connected with this is, is in is in Aries energy. Uh, it's about the energy, and it's and it, it's the energy that you feel around certain people, certain places. Whether it's a workplace, whether it's a place of recreation, wh whatever the place is. If you're picking up, and you guys are very, very sensitive right now to pick up on vibrations from other people, places, and things. So trust that information that you're getting. Trust those vibrations that you are getting because you have access to those for a reason. You're leveling up. So now your, your uh, gifts are being activated and your gifts are increasing. So your sensitivity, your, the sense of your spiritual sensitivity, is, is uh, the volume is turned up. So you're picking up on these things uh, stronger than you were before, better than you were able were before, able to before. I'm getting is kind of like you're tuning to a radio station, right? Before it may have been a little static coming on. You may you might have heard some talking through the static and whatnot, but now you're hearing it crystal clear. And with that crystal clear signal, a lot of things are being revealed around you. A lot of people's intentions, true intentions, whether they're good or bad, are being revealed around you. And it, it is being revealed to you right now at this specific time for a specific reason. Because when you level up, when you ascend... You have to change your environment. Some things must go. You have to flow with the vibration of change. That's number five energy here. There are, are going to be some things, some people, some places that you must free yourself from. And I know for some people, freeing yourself from things that you're uh, that you are comfortable with or that you are accustomed to can be kind of a difficult process but you're being advised to flow with the changes that are happening for you right now because they are happening for your greater good hmm. i'm getting some people when they can't have access these are people that are in your life if they cannot be in your life in a positive, on a positive, uh, uh, I was going to say a positive tip, uh, in a positive way, they're going to be in your life in a negative way. They want to have your attention by any means necessary. <laughs> I just heard your energy, your vibrations are very, very delicious to these people, to these psychic vampires to these spiritual narcissists okay and these are people that you have left you have shifted you have shifted you are currently on another timeline or you are phasing on to that next timeline that next level and leaving people behind and a lot of people are not going to like that. So a lot of people may in turn get offended by you leveling up, get offended by you leaving them behind and therefore may opt to attack you. But like I said, the vibrations are not complimentary. They're not on the same level. So they can't touch you. They can't touch you unless you, they can't even reach you. It's like they're jumping, trying to you've ele you're elevating up and they're jumping, trying to trying to latch on to you, but they can't touch you. They can't jump that high. The only way they're going to be able to touch you is if you come down to them. But I doubt that this can happen because you see them for who they are. Now, the masks are falling off. Okay. 
I'm getting the mask of falling off. And whatever they've been sending to you is being repelled, okay? So this is not the time to to buy into oh my god, uh I need to live in a state of fear. I need to allow myself to be fear mongered or think negatively. Yeah, you are receiving spiritual upgrades. These people were trying to suppress your truth, who you were. They wanted you to be in a state of suppression. That was confirmation right there. What was that? That fell? I don't know. But they wanted you to be in a state of an energetic state of to where you were suppressing your own gifts, your own abilities. And the way that you are coming into contact with these gifts and abilities is you standing in your truth and your authenticity. So they can throw any kind of daggers your way. It's not sticking. It's not even reaching to you. They can't. They don't have enough power. You are moving into an energy to where they don't have enough power to throw these daggers hard enough or strong enough to even reach you. The distance is too far. I said in a different reading the other day that there's somebody who is being your energy and the only only they cannot touch you physically or they cannot reach you physically. The only way that they could uh, reach you is uh, verbally uh, through communication like that. But they're not touching you, not unless you open yourself up or you I'm getting you degrade your own uh, energy. OK. But you have you you guys are embarking upon spiritual upgrades right now. Some of you guys may be feeling weird. You may be feeling out of place. You may be feeling like something weird is going on with your body. Uh, your thoughts are uh, your thoughts are all over the place. Or you've been not getting enough sleep. Okay, you're moving into a season of love. Okay, and within this season of love, you're coming into contact. With more people that are loving as well, okay? Gone are the times that you've been partnering with people who you've been offering your love to. And you've been getting nothing back but the opposite. I'm not saying that we do things because we want to expect something back. This It's not about that. It's about the frequency and about you vibing with your tribe. That is what it's about. Because we, you are no longer allowing yourself to be in a position to where you are allowing yourself to become attached and connected with people who are have an agenda to hurt you. We may have been fooled in the past, but we are no longer fooled now because our eyes are wide open. You are seeing clearly what's going on around you, what people's intentions are. What their motivation is, what their desires are when they approach you, you see that. And so you're, you're better able to make uh, more informed decisions when it comes to interact and uh, interacting with certain individuals, uh, being around certain areas and environments. You are moving while these people are in these whatever levels they choose to be in, right? I'm getting a competitive level, jealousy level. A wounded lack mentality level. You are moving into a season of love. To where the energy or the people that are around you, what's being played out, what is being the picture that is being painted for you is a picture where you're surrounded by people that that are sowing goodness into you and you're doing the same for them it's a family affair is what i'm getting i'm hearing that song on it's a family affair it's a family affair who sings that song i don't know but family affair that is what that's that is the song that i'm hearing right now it's a family affair and you're moving towards like-minded individuals okay People who are on the same page with you, people who you don't have to explain yourself to. Like I said before, you don't have to prove your character, your worth. You don't have to prove, get acceptance and approval from anybody else because you already know who you are. 
what other cards do we have from this one? And this is this is a prototype that I'm working on right now and that I will be eventually making into a deck. But let me see what we have here. Yeah, you guys have a higher calling in your life. We can't be hobnobbing with goons and goblins and gutter snipes. We can't we can't allow ourselves to to waste time. We don't have time to waste. You are meant to spread a light, your light out into the universe, into the world to connect, to live in harmony with your soulmates, with your, with your soul tribe, with your own community. You were meant to heal not only yourself, not only bring yourself into balance and harmony, but to do that also or work in unison with your community to to uh, do that overall for your community as well. You were meant to go your own path. So a lot of you guys will be leaving behind lifestyles and people. OK, because you're answering the call. I just saw the call. You're answering the call. This is the call for your higher purpose and there are some people that don't want you to answer that call because that means that they no longer are going to have access to you they no longer long they are no longer going to be able to use your resources whether that's energetic whether that's emotional whether that's physical whether that's monetary they're not going to be no longer be able to use your services what else we got here we have spiritual awakening like just like i said you guys are ascending you are awakening to your true self your purpose your life's purpose you are awakening to the things that people have been doing to you whether it's good or whether it's negative which allows you to weigh the pros and the cons and to see who needs who gets to stay and who has to go you're seeing things differently some of you guys may identify as being star seeds okay I'm getting that you guys were being called to make the ultimate sacrifice. And what I mean by the ultimate sacrifice, that is you, for the greater good, putting yourself first. I'm picking up on the energy to where a lot of you guys may be, may have played the martyr before, may have sacrificed yourself in many different ways to appease other people to help people to try to help heal people but now it is time for you to stop playing the role of a martyr and move into a leadership position you are a teacher you are a beacon of light you are here to to spread love to spread clarity I'm not here to play games with these catfish out here in the mud And a lot of you guys may find it hard. Like I said before, it may be hard to move away from certain people, places and things, but it's for your highest good. It's you. It, it, it only requires you being your true and authentic self and following your own call that your heart is telling you to do that. God is telling you and, and how God speaks to you individually. Not necessarily what. Another reader is telling you or this person outside. Of you. No, it's what God is saying to you personally, because we all have our own unique connection to spirit. So just like spirit speaks to other people, God speaks to other people. They speak to you as well. But it's just a matter of are you listening or not? Do you hear or not? Are you asleep or are you awoke? The force is with you, okay? It's giving me that, the Jedi. And I'm, and, and I'm getting also the Jedi mind trick. Somebody may be trying to Jedi mind trick and make you think that you're the villain or make you think that whatever you're doing or the call that you are answering to is wrong when it's not wrong, when it's authentic and true to you. That is what truly matters. What's true and authentic to you, not what's true and authentic to the next man, the next woman. Because when you're going through this spiritual awakening, or if you've gone through it already, you know what's best for you. You know what God is, is telling you to do or 
what's making you privy to, what's, what's making you aware of. And you are not being forced to be anybody that you're not. You are being pushed to be yourself because there is so much, I'm getting so many blessings, so much, so much love, so much knowledge, so much warmth, so much creativity. I'm getting cooperation as well. So much growth, optimism that is meant to have through or you, not only you and happiness as well. Not only you will experience, but other people will experience by experiencing you as well, by you being your true and your authentic self and not allowing other people to tell you, oh, something's wrong with you. Oh, you shouldn't do that. Oh, you shouldn't. When you know exactly what you should be doing, you're not hurting yourself. You're not hurting anybody else. You're just following your call. And it doesn't matter if the people on the outside, if they understand it or not, it does not matter. What matters is, is that you follow what's in your heart and what's true to you. And is that you follow the flow because you have to know that your intentions are good. Okay. You're not out here trying to hurt anybody. You're not even trying to hurt yourself, right? You are, you have this pure heart light energy that is around you the more you step into your truth and your authenticity the more that energy increases and the more other people can feel that energy and the more they don't want you to they don't want you to embody that energy but spirit is saying keep going trust in yourself you don't need anybody else's approval and if somebody thinks you're a villain then so what so what we don't have time trying to explain nothing to nobody. We don't have time to try to make anybody, convince anybody that your pathway is right for you. No, just live your life. Just do what you need to do for yourself. If they're going to get on board with them, they'll get on board on their own. If they don't, then that's their business. You're leaving them behind. We got education here. It says education is an important part of your soul's development at this time. You guys are learning a lot or you have access to learn a lot. You're coming across so many different uh, teachers. OK, uh, you're coming across so many different teachers who are here to help you. On this pathway, especially if you're feeling confused, if you're feeling doubt, if you're feeling like you can't do it or if the position of a leadership, a leader seems uh, scary for you. You know, we're here to tell you that, no, you could do it because if you weren't able to do it or if you weren't slated to do it, then it, you wouldn't be called to do that. And I know that not everybody is meant to be a leader, but you, you're meant to be a leader in your own way. And, and a leader, what I mean by that is you march into the beat of your own drum and you following your own path and not following somebody else's path. I'm getting student teacher dynamics here. I'm getting some people are meant to learn a lot right now. Some people, people are meant to teach right now. Some people are meant to teach and learn right now as well. But this is all about you going with the flow, trusting the energy that is around you. And while you are in this school, while you are in this uh, energy of learning, you are being protected. The force is all around you. You're being protected. I'm getting you just have to believe that and you have to not let external influences uh, get to you. All right. Your auric feel. Look at that. It says it's time to call in energy protection to shield, clear and strengthen your aura. I feel like a lot of you guys have already been doing that. And if you haven't, it is time for you to call in energy protection to shield, clear and strengthen your aura, especially if you feel like you're being under attack. Call that energy in. You have the gifts. You have the ability to do that. You can ask for it. That is why you have your spiritual connection. You can ask for it. We also have creative projects. Okay. And with this org field, I feel like uh, I'm getting here as well as that. Uh, 
your org feel is strengthening and changing so much that some of these people from the past who have who've had ill intentions towards you, they can no longer even look at you. It's like you're you're shining so bright that your light blinds them. So you may you may find that some people can't even look you in the eye or they they have this guilty look about them. It's that pure heart energy, that light energy that is coming from you, that is emanating from you. And they just can't stand it. You're going to have somebody around you who has that sort of effect, who you have that sort of effect on. Pay attention, pay attention to where. People start acting weird, start acting funny, start acting like something is wrong, start uh, avoiding you all of a sudden, start like they can't even look you in the eye. It's something there. It's your it's your it's your power. It's that your org field that's emanating. OK, we got career transition. Some of you guys may be uh, transitioning career, changing career. It says your soul is yearning for a career aligned with passion and purpose. So. Part of this ascension, too, is you following your true potential, your north node. OK, and this is you uh, finding also employment or, or creating employment that is in alignment with your your purpose and your passion. Something that speaks to you in general. Something that is speaking to you. I wanted to pull some of these uh, six cents cards. Because I feel like a lot of you guys are, are either discovering that you're having dis you're discovering that you have new gifts or your gifts are strengthening. OK, and we got Mars energy here it says the urge to assert the self. And the your sex drive, will, energy and drive in general. OK, this is your ability to take action. I feel like you guys know when you hear that call, something within you is activated and it tells you to move forward and it tells you that it is time to move. It tells you that it is time for action, that I must do something that I cannot s stay here sitting on the fence or I, I can't stay in my comfort zone. I have to get out and I have to facilitate this change, these changes that are taking place. And I have to get into the flow of things. So that I can be in alignment with the changes that are taking place within the world today that we're living in. Right. You guys may be uh, experiencing clear alliance. It says the ability to smell odors that don't have any kind of physical source. So these odors and these scents that you may be picking up on may mean something to you. Like, let's say your aunt Lucy used to wear a certain type of perfume or she uh, always kept a certain type of flower, you know, and she's transitioned and now. All of a sudden, you may smell a certain flower, a certain, you know, a certain fragrance or whatever, and it reminds you of her. That's a sign there for you. That's a that's a message there for you as well. Or uh, some smell reminds you of a certain things. And, and that thing alerts you to something that's going on around you, whether that's good or positive. Pay attention to those things, because I know some people when they hear about clear aliens, they're like, what? Smelling, smelling. No, there's that. That's a part of your senses, right? And what are your spiritual gifts tied to your senses? So you have to. I'm getting really. Don't take these gifts for granted because they're given to you for a reason. We got telepathy. OK, the ability to transmit or receive supernatural thoughts or right? receive uh, thoughts supernaturally. I feel like you're going to find that some people don't want to be around you because you're you have this telepathic ability because you can pick up on their thoughts because some people feel like I, I'm getting that some people feel like oh my god let me go let me go let me leave let me leave because even though I'm not saying what what I'm thinking this person that they're they people I feel like some people know that there's by some some way some reason you're picking up on what they're thinking and what they're feeling You may be getting the urge to talk to a specific person and then that person calls you. OK, or you call that person and that person was like, oh, I was just about to call you. Pay attention to stuff like that as well. You may meet people to where 
you you don't have to do as much talking, you know? You're just able to pick up on each other's thoughts and feelings. I know that may seem weird for some people, but that's a reality. Some of you guys may be uh, developing the gift of remote viewing to where you're able to... Uh, it says remote viewing seeks impressions about a distant or unseen object. Uh, it says subject, okay. Uh, unseen subject uh, purportedly sensing with the mind okay it's like you're able to to view what's going on in a di in a distant location okay or even in a close proximity let's say it's, it's, if it's behind a wall or behind some place that's secured you're able to to see okay what's going on there i'm getting somebody may somebody here you may you may experience this right when you are Getting ready to go to sleep or drifting off into that deep sleep or. And I don't know, this is a specific for a specific person. OK, or it may be for a lot of you guys, but you may I'm getting that this ability may be heightened when you're in between that state of. Going to sleep or going into a deep rest and right when you wake up, when you when you're still just laying there and right when you're waking up. Mm. We got clear cognizance, the ability to have clear knowing with no practical explanation for why. See, this is like you just know things. And there are some people who are going to be scared from those gifts and abilities. And, and, and a lot of times the ones who are scared are the ones who have something to hide. So you have to pay attention because all these and, and a lot of times people think, oh, my God, spiritual gifts. Oh, that's cool. Uh but they can also be a burden as well because you may know some things that you don't want to know. But with these gifts comes a high level of responsibility. If you were not able to, to handle the gifts, you would not be receiving them. I don't know who needs to hear that. If you if you were not able to handle it, you would not be able to receive it. You will not receive it. I had to, I had to learn that one the hard like when I was younger, I had to learn that because at one point when I was younger, I just wanted to not even feel anything. I wanted to not be able to pick up on people's emotions. I wanted to not I wanted to not see things in dreams. I wanted to I, I just wanted to just be what I thought was normal, you know, but that is what's normal for me. And that is what's normal for you, you know, especially if you're one who has uh, who display these uh gifts and abilities you are destined to do something great i want y'all to know that and that see that's where the smoke and mirrors come into place where they they try to make you feel like you're doing something wrong you're the villain okay you got something uh look at this y'all <laughs> look at this i try to pick this card up and it fell out see these are van you you've come across some vampires yeah you come across vampires who wanted to end you they wanted they wanted you to stop from answering the call they want you to stop from elevating okay they didn't want you to change they wanted to keep you from your divine purpose you see this right here they wanted to keep you from your divine purpose okay but these people they're reaching their ends and now they are not able to siphon off of you they're not able they're no longer able to 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 have you where they want you right where they're they played on your heart, whether it is whether people have uh, took your kindness for weakness and, and, and know, know, know that you have a good heart. And, they, and or they cried and gave you some sort of sob story and may have you invested in them in some sort of way. But now you are awakening to people's true intention. And it doesn't matter what kind of face they put on. It doesn't matter uh, what kind of act, what kind of performance, what kind of show they're putting on. You see the truth and it can no longer be hidden. And I'm getting you're off to bigger and better things. There's gonna be a lot of people. It's like that are trying to fight. I'm get I'm getting get ready for the shenanigans. There may be more shenanigans taking place, but at the same time, you're being advised to ignore the shenanigans, continue on in your season of love and your service to humanity, 
and following the flow that was set out for you. Following the path and answering the call that was set out for you. Don't buy into the shenanigans. Don't allow people to, to put their problems onto you. Because that's another way how people can hook you as well. Is to call, oh my God, I'm having this issue. Da -da 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 -da. And now they got you hooked into their situation. And now, they, now they're accessing your energy. And now they're siphoning off of you with this vampiric uh, uh, energy um, tactics. We have people forget all the bad things they've done to you. See, I feel like that is why some of these people are getting upset because a lot of them may be forgetting all the bad things that they've done to you, but you haven't forgotten that. You're forgiving people, yes, but you haven't forgotten their true character and you know what you see when you see them now. Like, it doesn't matter how long you've known this person. It doesn't matter who they are to in your life. You see them for who they truly are. And once you see a person for who they truly are, there's no unseeing it. You can't rewind it. it, it, it just, it's over with. It's done. But expect people to, to, to have selective amnesia. To forget about all the torture, the pain, the rejection, the bullying, the trolling. Forget, uh, and this is people on different levels. Forget everything that they've been doing to you. But like I said before, see, the spiritual CCTV is on 24-7. It never shuts off, so everything is being recorded. It says, I'm open for real love and nothing less. Yeah, you guys are open. That's why you're moving into your season of love. You are opening yourself for real love and nothing less. Comment down below if you guys are ready to go. RTG123, baby. Yeah, you guys, you guys know what you're worth. And you're not allowing anybody to, uh, to give you less. You're not allowing the universe to give you less. You're not allowing people to give you less. You're like, because sometimes the universe will test you to see what it is that you, uh, what it is that you think you, you deserve. And if you know that you deserve better, then don't accept it. I'm a firm advocate for that. It's like, if I don't want it, I'm not going to do it. Just like, it, 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 just for example, it's just like coming down to something like, like, let's say, uh, you're with your family and you're deciding on what to eat and everybody's trying to, and everybody wants to go to a specific place and you don't like the food there. You're not going to order food from there because you know, you're not going to, you're not going to waste your time. Those are like wasted calories. So it's the same thing. It's like, if you know that something is not, you're not going to enjoy it or something is not for you, you're no longer wasting your time on it. Like, why order from that menu when you know everything in your in your opinion, everything on that menu is garbage. So why are you going to order from it? Why are you going? Why? Because, you know, once you order whatever you order, it doesn't matter what you order when you get it and you eat it. You're going to be like, this is trash. I could have I could have I could have made some food at home. I could have gone somewhere else. We're no longer settling. We're no longer doing that. And that is the difference. And that's what a lot of people, they're not going to be there. A lot of people are being shocked or they will be shocked because you're putting your foot down. We got Cassia, which is confidence. You're moving into a more confident energy. I'm feeling a confidence that people have yet to see or people are not accustomed to seeing from you. But that's who you are right now. That's what you embody right now. That is your truth and your authenticity right now. The trigger statement here is, I can't do that. The true statement is, I am a light. And it says, step forward and be the bright light that you are. Serve your purpose to the world by sharing your amazing gifts. What have I been telling you right now? 
Y'all see when we channel messages and we go with the flow and we listen to what God is telling us. And then there's a card that drops two cards, three cards, four cards that drop that confirm everything that you've been saying. That's channeling people. That is channeling. That's how that that's channeling. That lets you know that you are on the right path and you are channeling the correct message for the correct people. Vibe with your tribe. Okay. I don't want to hobnob. When I'm not here for the, the, the goons and the goblins and the trolls. I'm not here for them. You feel me? Although they do show up. I'm not here. I just block them and keep it moving. You say one wrong word that has nothing to do with the my purpose of being here. You're getting blocked and we're moving on. We have to stand strong in our purpose and we can't let nobody come into the picture and throw us off balance. Nobody come into your picture and rain on your parade, throw dirt on the uh, on your name, your program, whatever. Because they will try to come in and they will try to taint the energy. They will try to twist the energy and change it from what it is. You can be vibing so high for love, light, peace, prosperity, whatever. And they will come in with that dirty, nasty energy. Try to affect what you got going on or what you've been building. And that is what we cannot allow these people to do. You've been, you've been, you've worked so hard, okay, to... Let anybody come in and mess up all the progress that you have made on this on this journey. Know that you are the lighthouse. You are the beacon. You are the light. People love your independent. I don't give a F attitude, period. They love and look at this. You got ops, haters, snakes, jealous people around you. I, I said that. I said that, but people love the fact that you're independent and you don't care about what's going on around you. You're like, look, I'm going to do me regardless. I'm not trying to follow you. I'm following my divine purpose and what the, the reason why I'm here. People are desperate for your attention one way or another. What did I just, what did I tell y'all earlier? People are desperate for your attention one way or another. That's why I said to you before is that these people will try to get your attention, whether it's in a good way or a bad way. In whatever way they can get your attention, they're going to get it. That's why you may have people who is nice to you one minute and then they're mean to you the next minute. Because they're not getting their desired results by being one way, so they're going to try the next way. You might get some people who are being jerks to you one minute and then they're going to be nice to you the next minute because they, they see being a jerk is not working. But you know what? You no longer give a F. It doesn't matter. You don't care. Like. You can I'm, I'm getting like you can say what you want to say, do what you what, what was that song? Say what they say, do what they do. One thing leads to another. Who sings that? What is that? Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, that's what it is. God is showing you who's for you and who's not for you. God is showing you who you are meant to journey with and who you are meant to leave behind or stay away from. Now, let me let me check this. Uh, let me check check these lyrics. Let's see. Okay. Okay, that is the fix. One thing leads to another. Let me see what the what the lyrics say. Okay. Ooh, look at this. The first uh, lyrics it says the deception with tact just what are you trying to say look at that that first line even though i know what this song is about 
It's, that first line is, 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 is telling me, it's like people will try to sneakily, smoothly, you know what I'm saying? Stealthily come in and deceive you trick you that's why you have to be careful when people come to you with this with these word salads uh trying to confuse you uh being all vague um gaslighting you you know when you when, when you sit back when somebody says something to you or does something to you and you sit back and you're like what you know like you you're just sitting there with the with the question mark face you know it's something there it's something that is not being up front is something that is being hidden and that's one thing i don't like i don't like that i don't like that even if it's you know i'm not saying that everybody who's being vague is 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 is, is ha has a malicious energy but i don't like that just be just be clear just be up front just be you know what i'm saying just communicate clearly there's no need to to to, to beat around the bush or hide or there's no need. It just it's just shady. It's just weird to me, you know? I mean, just just be clear. And it says, you've got a blank face, which irritates. You see what I'm talking about? It's like it's like what I'm getting to this person is saying, look, I know you up to something. I know you're you're hiding. You're there's something that you want, something that you're trying to do, and I know you're up to something. And you're irritating me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I feel like that is that is how we're feeling as a collective. We get irritated by, like, just pay attention. If you all of a sudden get irritated from somebody, you're like, why am I feeling this way? And you, and you, and you genuinely like, oh, my God, I don't, want, I don't want to feel this way around this person. There's something there. There's an energy that is not sitting well with your, with your soul, with your spirit. It's out of alignment. Sometimes you might not like a person, especially if you have a good heart. If you get along with everybody, I'm, I'm someone that get, gets along with everybody, right? I don't like trouble, uh, whatever, with people. So if I'm avoiding a person, there might be a reason I'm avoiding them. You feel me? Sometimes, you know, with that uh, that clear cognizance kick, kicks in and I just know things and, and some just tells me stay away from that person. And I just stay away from them. It says communicate. Pull out your party piece. You see dimensions in two. State your case with black or white. You see what I'm talking about? I just say, look, give it to me cut and dry. Give it to me cut and dry. Don't beat around the bush. Don't speak in riddles. Don't try to be sneaky. I see. Because the CCTV is on. You will clearly see what you are taking on from outside influences and release. So anybody coming to you with ill intentions, you're going to be able to see them. They're going to be able to see him from a mile away. And it says, do what they say, say what, do what they say, say what you mean. And baby, one thing leads to another. You told me something wrong. I know I listened too long, but then one thing leads to another. It's just giving me the vibe of. People being fake and phony. People may be copying you to steal your vibes. Y'all know y'all the blueprint, right? You know you're the original. And there's a lot of knockoffs that are around you. A lot of people emulating your style. Emulating the way you talk. Emulating uh, the, the messages that you give. Okay, if you give messages. Emulating your persona. Trying to emulate your light. But y'all know. Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. Ain't nothing like the real thing. You cannot replace an original with a duplicate. It's 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 going to be. Um, I'm getting. The quality is going to be degraded. Right? It's not the same. It is not the same. But you got people because. Because of who you are, you have this natural, you have this je ne sais quoi about you, okay? That cannot, that a lot of people can see that it's genuine and it is very, very unique. And it draws a lot of people to you, right? That's your org feel, you know? It draws a lot of people to you. And there's a lot of people that idolize that. There's a lot of people that are watching you also, too, without you even knowing. There's a lot of people that, that admire you without you even knowing. 
Okay? You may think that they're not paying attention, but they're paying attention. They're watching you. They're watching you. They're paying attention. They're copying everything that you're doing, writing it down, emulating it. Don't kill my vibes. Good vibes only. See, that's the kind of energy that you're in right now. You're like, look, bro. Look, sis. Look, bro. Look, sis. I'm open only for real love and nothing else. Don't come here with the fake fakeness and the foolishness. Don't come here with the agendas. Don't come over here with the competition. Don't come over here being condescending. Don't come over here with the gossip, with the nonsense. Don't don't do it. You're only open for real love and nothing else. This is you not wavering. This is you standing up for what you want. And I feel because you're moving into the season of love, okay? That you are no longer dealing with people who have done you wrong, okay? Or who are doing you wrong. And a lot of them, like I said, they don't understand. They're like, why? Why Why are you treating me this way? I feel like a lot of you guys, you're not explaining anything to anybody. You're like, you know what? I'm done. And then that's the last thing that they either, either hear or they feel. I'm done. There's nothing to explain. I already know what you're about and I'm not signing up for it. I'm not tolerating it anymore. I'm throwing it back into the ocean and I'm dipping. And a lot of people, you may have left people, you may have left a lot of people uh, with unfinished business and they're like trying to still get closure, but you've gotten your own closure. You've, or you guys will be getting your closure. Once you see what you need to see, you'll be getting that closure, closing that door. You don't need to have a conversation. You don't need to sit in Starbucks and have coffee and talk about what happened. You don't need to do that. You already, you already know what you know. Clear cognizance. You already got the gifts. You already got the abilities. God is already talking to you. You already know everything. You know what you need to know. And that is it. That's all that matters. I don't need you to explain anything. I don't need you to say, oh, my God, well, I'm sorry because I was having a bad day. Uh, duh, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm sorry I misjudged you. Duh, 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 duh. You don't care about none of that. It's it, there's there's nothing to explain at this point. Either you come in with love, energy, vibration, respect fully. Or don't come at all. Don't come at all. I'm getting you guys are putting your foot down. You're putting your foot down and, you, and, and that message that you are sending out is stronger than ever. And that is one of the reasons. Yeah, you are breaking karmic patterns and cycles. OK, you are stepping out. You like, hold up. Stop this hamster wheel. Stop this rat rat race, whatever. Stop this, whatever. Let me get off of it. Stop this Ferris wheel that's going around in circles and circles. Stop this carousel that ain't going nowhere. I'm riding on the horse, but we ain't going nowhere. I'm seeing the same people over and over, over and over again, going around in the same damn circle over and over and over and over. And I'm not, I'm not getting nowhere. I'm getting, only thing I'm getting is I'm, I'm getting dizzy. And I want off this ride. And y'all saying stop this ride right now. Some of y'all ain't, you're not waiting till the ride stops. You're not waiting till the wheel stops. You just jumping off. Y'all doing the jump off and you jumping and rolling. You feel me? You jumping in like, you. hey, I'm about to jump and roll. I don't need you to stop. I'm just getting off of this thing. You know what I'm saying? Comment down below if you guys are ready to go. RTG, one, two, three, baby. This is pure growth energy, number 12, right? You guys are moving into this optimistic mind frames, mindset. You're tapping into your creativity. You, I'm, I'm, I'm getting that. I'm feeling the vibration and you're being more creative than ever. More self-expressive expressive than ever. More inspired than ever. More ready to explore the world than ever. More ready to work with God, your spirit team, your ancestors. With spirit and get this damn thing done. This is you having courage. This is you daring to be happy. This is, I'm hearing that Tina Arena song, Dare to Be Happy. I dare, I dare you to be happy. You, you are embarking upon 
a major transformation right now this pluto energy and you're stepping into your power and that power is being felt and a part of that power is emanating and raiding out into the world into people around you too and that is why a lot of this stuff that they're sending to you now is being repelled yeah because you've you've uh lifted your i'm hearing i'm here you see you're moving into this season of love and i'm hearing Love lift us up where we belong. It's like it's, your, your vibrations are lifting up, okay? You're in this strong love vibration, okay? You're in this strong light vibration, this strong clarity vibration, this strong nurturing vibration. And this is the energy that you need to be in to have be in balance, Libra energy here, balance and harmony so that you could safely transition you feel me i'm getting a safe transition what card is this people want people want uh people want you your body is a temple they know it they know class when they see it they know high class when they see it they know top shelf when they see it that's why they want to vamp that's why they want to vamp on you that's why they want to vamp on you because they, they they know they know quality when they see it because you are the original baby it doesn't matter what people how people try to slander your name try to make you like you're the villain you've done something wrong you are oh my god the boogeyman like it doesn't matter people can see you people see you for who you truly are people see you they feel you and there's nothing an op can do or say. There's nothing a, a hater is going to say. There's nothing a snake can say. There's nothing that anybody jealous can say that can negate the fact of who you truly are down at your essence and what you are broadcasting for the world to see. There's no amount of slandering that could stop somebody from seeing what they can, what they, what they see standing right in front of them, what they see with their naked eye. I'm hearing with my naked eye, I saw on the pouring rain coming down on me. Let me see what that song is talking about. With my naked eye, I saw. Let me see. I'm hearing sirens. Luscious, Luscious Jackson. With my naked eye, I saw all the falling rain coming down on me. With my naked eye, I saw all if I said it all. I'm going to go listen to this when I finish this. I saw, I saw all if I said it all. I could see with my naked eye. I saw all the falling rain coming down on me with my naked eye. Da -da -da. This is repeating stuff. But it's like you're seeing everything. You know what I mean? You're seeing everything. That's a song by Luscious Jackson. Um, you're seeing everything. There's nothing that anybody can direct towards you that you're not going to be able to see. Mm. And that is what some people, like, they don't, they don't like that. But... That's not your problem. You're breaking karmic cycles. You're moving into your divine purpose. You're moving into your power. So whatever they throw at you, that's their business. They will have to answer to that. You feel me? Your determination makes you unstoppable. You are very determined to make a difference in the world. And that's something that they can't stop. Because that energy that you have, that momentum that's built up inside of you, by you answering your own call, by you following your own path, by you t following your own lead, okay? They can't stop that. The momentum is it's like a it's like a speed and train. The momentum is it, it's too strong, okay? That's your determination is too strong. If they get in the way, they'll get bull bulldozed out of the way. They'll get trampled. They will get steam steamrolled over. They will get molly whopped. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like get out of the way. You feel me? Like get out of the way or get get molly whopped. Hmm. 
let me pull some advice uh, from this uh, deck right here and then we'll wrap this up. I hope that you guys enjoyed this message and you um, uh, found something that was um, informative and inspirational to you. And that was a catalyst to help you find your own divine purpose and go along your own um, chosen path. Okay, let's see what we got from this deck. We have two cards here. We have one that says distant, strange, keep a distance. You see what I'm talking about? Spirit wants you to know, wants you to vibe with your tribe. Anything that is out of alignment, out of alignment, stay away from it. I'm getting that's your homework. Your homework is to see people, places and things for what it is. And if it's out of alignment with where you're going, your personal growth, to stay away from it you will clearly see what you are taking on from the outside influences and release there's an emphasis on the word release that i'm getting here your energetic boundaries are fortified this is you having uh healthy boundaries and being firm and strong about those boundaries and not letting anybody i don't care if you were just sit and drink coffee with this person yesterday. If they cross your boundaries, you know what you got to do. This is not the time to let people, these vampires, whether it's somebody who was nice to you one minute, they changed, they're changing and they're letting forces work through them. And now they're coming with that vampiric energy. You know what you got to do. It's for your own safety, for your own well-being. Because you got bigger fish to fry you have a higher purpose a higher calling on your life do what you want to do don't let nobody tell you what to do don't let nobody like I, I that's confirmation of what i already said everything is wonderful find the joy in life is what i'm getting here too positive optimistic and beautiful focus on those energies focus on the positive be optimistic and create beauty in your life is what i'm getting here your chance has come this is your time this is a world of dreams okay so <laughs> i heard dream a little dream mm -hmm. uh who sings that song dream a little dream that's what i just heard i don't know, I don't know the lyrics but i just heard that song in my head dream dream a little dream something i don't know the word i don't know the words but freedom it is time for you to free yourself and then we have beneath the calm exterior is often the hottest heart. You're stronger than you, you, you think. Okay. And everything is under control. Yeah. you got nothing to worry about. So yeah, they're throwing daggers, but them daggers is like rubber bullets. They ain't doing really doing nothing. Okay. They're not even reaching you. So keep up the awesome work. Okay. Uh, let nobody stop you. Let nobody come in and negate what God or your spirit team is telling you right now. Okay. Let nobody negate that. So spirit tell you to do X, Y, Z or give you some advice. Don't let nobody else come in and tell you, Oh no, don't do that. Do this. It's like, no, 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 no. You already know what you need to do. Okay. But that is what I got for you guys for this message. If you like it, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And if this resonated for you, please comment in the comment section down below. Let me know how you guys feel about it. I hope you guys have an awesome day and an awesome weekend as well. And stay tuned for more. Thank you guys so much. Okay, much love and light to everybody out there. Fafitai tenelava, mahalo loa, obrigado, onenaseo, arigato, ciao.